Welcome to the fourth episode of Blue Peace Voices. In this episode, we will see what remote sensing, forest fires, and land grabbing have to do with the future of water. I do hope that you will find it of interest. Hi, my name is Aaron Salzberg. I'm the director of the Water Institute at the University of North Carolina. What's the one factor that I think will be transformational from both a management and governance perspective? I think it's going to be remote sensing. The Surface Water and Ocean Topography mission will be launched by NASA and other partners in September 2021. It will give us unprecedented capacity to measure the state of the world's water resources. In other words, we will soon know how every country is managing their water, all from space. And this will likely have a profound impact on the arrangements for managing shared waters everywhere. In the first half of this century, the demand for water will go up with more than 50%. We have more people, there's more demand for eating meat, there's more demand for energy, and all of that requires more water. And this is one challenge, but we have to deal with it in a time when we also have to deal with the challenge of climate change and other planetary challenges like nature loss, the loss of biodiversity, the loss of the well-balanced ecosystems that we have. And you see, in, for instance, in the past year in Australia, how all these things work together. You see that there was first a drought, and then there was uh, the heat, and the heat and the drought together made that you got these uh, huge forest fires. And then after the forest fires, there were huge floodings because the rain was falling. It couldn't be absorbed anymore by the forest for the simple reason that the forest was gone. So you got these floodings. So all these problems, are, um, are are kind of kind of uh, influencing each other, and that is also when you think about what is the way out of this mess that we have created. Well, that is also an integrated approach. It means working together at all levels of of governance, and we need, of course, good governance everywhere. It means also international uh, cooperation, and it especially asks for visionary leaders that can lead us out of this problem with a long-term vision, leaders that listen to uh, the science. And that is a way to, to, to get out of here and to make sure that there is enough water for everybody also in this age of extremes in the 21st century. Hello, my name is Frederick Mujira. I co-founded InfoNile. InfoNile is a geojournalism platform based in the Nile Basin. I strongly believe that one of such factors is uh, land grabbing. We've been working on a project about land grabbing in the Nile Basin and we found that so many companies are coming from Europe, Middle East, Asia, you know, coming to the Nile Basin to grab land. And you know, these com com companies don't just come to grab land, they grab resources within the land. And one of these resources is water. So they come to extract water from the Nile Basin and use it for different purposes, such as, you know, growing of crops, irrigation. And in the long run, this affects the water availability in the region. It also affects the governance, you know, who is extracting water and for what purposes, you know, all that.